Kane Alar with the North Carolina Port Council. I'm here in McGee's Crossroads, North Carolina at Redneck Barbecue Lab. And I'm Brandon Warren. So Brandon, tell us a little bit about your involvement in the industry. So I'm a former president of the Port Council and a member of the Port Council and I thoroughly enjoyed my time there. My family, uh, we raised pigs for Smithfield Foods and Dingen Grove and uh, we have finishers and nurseries two sow farms and then we um, have about 7,500 acres of row crops. We grow corn, beans, wheat, cotton, sweet potatoes, and tobacco. And we have beef cows. So Hurricane Elsa has been in the news all week. What are pig farmers doing to prepare? Well, Caitlin, we didn't just start preparing now. I mean, we, we're always trying to be prepared for the unexpected, um, especially approaching hurricane season. We try to have our lagoons as low as we can get them so that we have plenty of room if it rains too much. And uh, trying to make sure that the animals are safe. What is something you wish everybody knew about pig farming? I want everybody to understand that this is our livelihood. This is what we do for a living. It doesn't make sense for us not to take care of our animals to the best of our abilities. We don't, we, we don't take that lightly. It, it's how we feed our families. And... You know, taking care of the animals is our number one priority. Whether it's July 4th or Christmas or Sunday morning or 3 o'clock in the morning, whenever there's a problem, we're there. You know, it's a lifestyle. Well, thanks for spending time with us today. Thank you, Caitlin.